Classic Mini Garage is sponsored by Old School Minis for all of your classic mini parts and accessories. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Right, today I'm going to basically show you how to build up a, a cross pin diff for a mini differential. Now, um, this is the mini spares kit uh, cross pin. The part number is C-8JJ3385. These were unavailable for quite a long time um, last year, or was it the year before? I can't remember. Anyway, what you get in the kit is actual diff assembly, which is actually already built up. You have to take it apart to uh, to get your output shaft in, which is obviously you have to take these out of your old diff. You have to strip your old diff apart to get these off because you have to reuse them. Right, right, in the kit you get the diff itself, four planetary gears, and your thrust washers. You also get an Allen key, which undo, which is for that Allen bolt there. But the last three of these diffs I've bought, they've put the wrong size Allen key in it. It's too big, so that can go. Luckily, I've got some spares. Right, you also get some instructions. Don't need those. Right, first off, get your Allen key, the correct size one, and undo this bolt. Take that out the side right next you'll need like a little punch what you need to do is there's a hole here which you have to push through so if you get your little punch make sure it's long enough you push it through just just so it just pull pushes that pin out a little bit there look so then you just prise that out Get that out of the way. Now next, you you, you push this this pin out because obviously this holds all this together. So once this one's out, all the rest will come out. So just get that, push that out. Now there's a hole in this pin there. You must make sure that's the right way around, otherwise the pin that's in there won't go in when you put it back together so that goes like that take your block out and then move it over to the vice Can we see the voice in that pick? Oh. We can now. Okay. I'll right, get one of your new thrust washers onto your output shaft and into the diff housing. That's it. Now, what you need to do. is get planetary gear and your, th your thrust, your copper thrust. Put your thrust on, put your gear in, line it up and push that through as far as there. Now the next one you do is this one. Like it again, thrust. Planetary gear, your block, actually that goes on there first, otherwise you won't get it in. Put your planetary gear onto there and you have to sort of wiggle it. This can be a bit tricky sometimes. 
you have to sort of push it in then push the planter gear into position that's it right that's gone in right now push this pin back through that way again up until about there actually make sure that hole this hole here is pretty much facing that so push it up to there another thrust wash out actually put the planter gear in first put the thrust washer behind it line it up push that through you might need to give this a little tap to get it in that's not lined up is it not lined up on the thrust that's it that's in now what you need to do is to have a look down there to see if that hole is lined up and it looks pretty looks pretty close so you put your this pin back in planetary gear then your thrust goes in he says first not because I said right that's that push the pin through we lined up line up that's it that's in Line the hole up, put your bolt back in, just do that, just nip it up it won't come off anyway because once the crown wheel's on it can't come off anyway see that all spins lovely now back on now all that's left to do thrust washer on your output bang that on there crown wheel on there Six bolts with lock washers, job done. Now, uh, this this um, crown wheel is a 3.1 final drive. Um, I'm not going to tell you who car, car it's for or gearbox. You'll find out soon enough. Right then, that's it. It's quite easy. Um, just got to be careful you get the holes lined up, like I, like I showed you earlier on. But there you go. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you on the next one. Bye for now.